Uh, it's from Venice. Which is incredible because there's no soil in Venice, so to be able to grow grapes there is actually something else. <laughs> Stop laughing, that's true, it's full of canals. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back. Another week of blind wine tastings. Big thank you as always to Sometimes Always for hooking up with these wines. If you wanted to get 10% off any of these wines bought through the Sometimes Always website, click down below in the Discord. That's the only place we're giving it out. We're trying to suck you in to come chat to us on Discord. 10% off these six wines that we're tasting. Now, a little bit different today. Brendo, big dog, he's not here. So Noah's stepping up to Brendo. I'm stepping up to Noah and we've got a special guest in today. It's Fresh 92.7's own breakfast host, Lauren Davo. Davidson. Hi, I'm Davo. I'm from Fresh 92.7's Brecky team and I know nothing about wines but I'm here to taste a few. Thanks Henry. We're doing it again but this time I'm the most knowledgeable person in the room. Like that's that's stupid. White wine looks very clean. Uh, I don't know anything else. It's white and that is about my knowledge right there. This is this it smells like really good Riesling or like light aromatic white variety. So like zesty and mineral and like grassy, like lemon verbena kind of thing. Okay, a little bit saline, a little bit saltiness to it, a little bit acidic as well. Doesn't have a lot of oak to it. I don't know. Oh, that's actually quite nice. It's not too bitter. It's not too sweet either. It's got a bit of barrel work on it, so you can kind of taste the lazy um, and barrel-like structure of this, which is really cool. It's very drinkable, uh, crafted. Like, it, it's someone spent a fair bit of time on that. So, by that metric, I'm going to say that's a $55 bottle of wine. I've got a dozen of these. Hell, why not? <laughs> and I'd pay probably 25 bucks. This is not how I thought my Monday was going. Another one, white. Slightly more yellow, less white, moving in the direction of what I typically associate with oak. Very gold. I feel like we've got a bit of an orange wine heavy lineup on our hands. This one smells like it would have a bit more flavor to it. Let's give this a go. Bit of grip, bit of vanilla grip. Acid's huge. But it's got this really good stone fruit core. This is like a really, really well put together little skinsy white, I reckon. Oh yeah. Yep, that's a white wine. I don't know. I don't know what that smells like. Which is exactly what you want to hear out of your wine reviewer. You're welcome. Um, super cool, chalky and grippy and racy and fun. Really good. My usual move would to be guess that it's a Chardonnay because it's a white wine, but I'm going to try and not do that all the time anymore. I don't think it's expensive. I think that's going to be a $30 bottle. And for 30 bucks, I'll have three of them. Uh, I wish I had more to say about it, but Honestly, it's just a very inoffensive white wine that doesn't jump jump out of the glass at you. Doesn't take your face off. Wine number three. Cool. Lifted. A uh, little bit fruitier, sweeter potentially. Apparently you're meant to do this. Apparently that's something that you do to make the wine taste better. It's like straw, like pure straw. Lifted VA as well, which is always exciting, I think. It'll... Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. That's very nice. High acidity, high acidity, but not... Acid's good in wine, as it turns out. Um, We're right into the wine there. It tastes a bit citrusy, actually. Good little phenolic grip. It's quite similar to that last one, um, but a little. I think this is probably a little level up, I think. Varietally, I don't know. You'll be shocked to learn. I haven't figured it out. I think I'd probably get one bottle of this just for shits and gigs, and I'd score that. I'd probably pay twelve fifty. <laughs> I'm gonna go Pinot Gris. You know, it, it, it could be. Who's saying it's not? Red wine, really nice, like light, unfiltered. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh, that smells like juice. That smells delicious. It's not quite a red, it's not a full bodied red, is it? No. Mmm, smells like some sort of wine. It's hard not to get excited when you smell something like that. It is that whole bunchy, bright, strawberry, vibrant, Pinot-like character. Once again, doing the right thing. Oh, I can smell a bit of maybe like cherry. God, I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. I hope it doesn't taste like old socks. It does not taste like old socks. That's a cool wine, man. 
How we keep, we keep going up and up and up, up and up with the natural acid. This is crazy. This is so puckeringly sour, but it is really quite digestible and really, really drinkable. Oh my God, that went right into my nose. <laughs> God, I hope the people that make these wines aren't listening to this. <laughs> That's gonna cost you 45, 45 bucks a bottle. I'm taking this, I want nine bottles. Why not? All right, wine number five. Oh, it smells a little bit sweeter. They're leveling up in yellowness, is my note. Which makes me think we're getting into that Shiraz, uh, not Shiraz, we're getting into that Chardonnay oak territory because that's the only thing I know about white wine. It's got a bit more like tertiary interest with like grilled nuts and peach and all that kind of thing. Oh, that's actually really smooth. Oh, I like this one. This is a contender with number one, I reckon. Oh, yes. It doesn't taste like butterscotch snaps, but God, is it good. Love the tannin on this. Really subtle and just like really like you've just hit the forehand of a tennis ball kind of thing. It's just got that really nice velocity to it. That is smooth, textural white wine with none of that like, none of the face squirming upness, none of that involved with it. That is just delicious. Oh my goodness. Wine of the week so far for me. A golden little number. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now it's got this has got some more vibrancy. It's like oyster shells. I think I think this is gonna have oak in it. I think what I'm smelling in here is what I associate with oak. Oh <laughs> that has got some strong <laughs> scent to that. Now this is Chardonnay. <laughs> it has to be, it has to be. Texture-wise, it's really nice and soft before really rolling into this nice chalky little acidity. Um, and phenolic structure. Smoother than how it smells. It smells like it would be a Chardonnay sort of really, listen to me, full bodied. <laughs> but it tastes actually quite smooth. How much is that costing? I don't think it's super expensive. I reckon that's a $35 bottle of wine and I need a bottle of it. Uh, really well made. A really, like a, a, The winemaker has done an excellent job putting this together, but it's just not something that I really choose to enjoy all that much. I think it's a little bit of a, a muted expression. Alrighty, um, new format. I'm in the middle, which is an interesting move, especially given I don't know anything about what we're talking about here. But how'd you guys go with the two of them? Uh, the six of them. I mean, <laughs> I'm no wine expert, and you might be able to tell from my uh, commentary, so I didn't, I didn't go too well. Wine number one, let's have a chat. Uh, $25 a bottle, you're I in! Actually, I actually guessed that. I think I got that right. Jeepers, All it's not sudden. Riesling. It's definitely not Riesling. What is this? Uh, it's more gr is it Grillo? It's uh, it's from Italy. It's, Sicil it's Sicilian. So this is this is Grillo. So this is that uh, that um, variety we had the other week. That really oyster shell, like really salty boy from a couple of weeks ago. Um, this is really cool. Uh, wine number two. Uh, I had literally no notes other than it was thirty dollars and it was three bottles for me. What are we doing with that one, Locke? What are we talking? Thirty four. Close enough. Round yeah, it up. Round it up. That's yeah. basically what cool. I said. Cool little yeah. orangey number. Jam sheep. Oh, we've had this on the show. This is Savvy B. We've had this wine Actually, before? No, we haven't had this wine on the show. We bought it at Unico Go when it was operating. Okay. Mm. Jam sheet. Jam sheet. Jam sheet. Yeah, yeah, so this is actually made in like a warehouse in Preston, Melbourne. Uh, but this is actually like awesome winery. They make some really delicious stuff. And this is like the best Sauvignon Blanc you'll have in your life, maybe. Now, wine number three. Uh, <laughs> Lucky, what is it? How much was it? 40, 40 bucks. bucks. I, I wrote down 40 bucks. I, mean, I thought I'd take a half a dozen of this. Yeah, okay. But I guess everything's Chardonnay. How come the one time I guess it's Pinot Gris, it's not Pinot Gris? <laughs> I actually think I, I think I guess Chardonnay. You guess that. Chardonnay. But this is this is actually quite delicious. Uh, this is uh, Popolvai, uh, made by Ufe. He's based out of McLaren Vale, mm -hmm. and he's a lovely guy. He's, he was on the live stream last year. Uh, and this is a really cool wine. So, we've got a little red number here. Now, I wasn't sure. I wrote variety question mark, so I wasn't sure what this one was. How'd we go? 40 bucks. Oh, setting. Sweet. How good. So, this is a uh, Pinot Noir from the Adelaide Hills. This is uh, with, this is Commune of Buttons uh, from uh, Jasper and Sophie Buttons. They've actually taken over their parents' old vineyard and started making... Oh, it's a rosé. It's Nebbiolo rosé. But it's a lot of fun. Mm. Wine number five. For me, this is actually wine of the lineup. Anyway, what are we talking? 40 bucks, <laughs> Bargain. Right. Absolute bargain. For it's not Chardonnay though, is it? <laughs> it smells like honey. This is some yeah, kind of than... Bianco Creston. Jeepers. Looks like olive oil. 
does look a little bit like olive oil. Fine. Oh, Garganaga. So this is suave. So this is a cool little textural white. Where's it from? Italy. Oh, it's Giorgio Di Maria. So super hardcore natural stuff. Uh, it's from Venice. Um, my fair Verona. <laughs> Final wine of the lineup. We got wine number six. We've got a Oki Chardonnay for thirty-five dollars a bottle. If you're asking me, pull it out. What do we got, Lock? Fifty, 50 bucks. I wouldn't. I said fifty no, bucks. I wouldn't. And I took a bottle. I think that's one I might have said. It's definitely not Chardonnay. P pissy. It is. Yeah, it is a bit like that. But this is a. This is a. Yeah. Uh, but this is like a really cool Sicilian producer, I believe. I actually. I, w I wish I knew more. Um, but the, these guys really make some interesting wines from very obscure little varieties like Noisilla and shit like that. Like it, and they make some really, really cool stuff. Is, um, I'm not sure what this is, but I actually kind of like it. I'd say we've had a very interesting lineup and there's have. absolutely some gems in there. I, I actually really like a, pretty much all of them. There's some I enjoy more than others, but yeah. I think it's a really good little spectrum. One full five. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks so That's much. So Stepping guys. in for the, some, no the master problem. of wine himself, Brendan Carter. Uh, Gave us a promotion. Yeah, exactly. Mm. All of a sudden, I'm in the middle running the show, which is a ridiculous thing to do. Um, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Again, hit us up down low for the 10% off through Sometimes Always. But yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.